Welcome to the Will Miles podcast, which is probably what I'm going to call this new series on my channel. This is the first episode, the first guest of the new idea that I've had. I probably shouldn't say that on the start of the podcast, but Zach it's Jones, good. it's a pleasure, pleasure to, to meet you. you, my guy. I've been, um, uh, we've been in each other's um, spheres online for yeah. maybe a couple of years now. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. I think that's be fair. I think the first thing I saw from you was the Amazon video, the one, yeah. that, the one that skyrocketed. Yeah. Um, but I, I thought I'd get you on for the first thing, um, obviously just because it's. I, I almost feel like we've kind of got not parallel channels or anything but kind yeah, of, we yeah. both do the travelling thing like the Kirk has kind of yeah. um, videos we both, both do music like rap and stuff yeah. both, both obviously yeah. still like doing jobs and stuff trying to yeah. you know make it so you know yeah. it's but that's to be fair that comes back to the first question I really like to ask you was <laughs> where did that kind of um, obviously you know you're doing YouTube mm. you're doing music you're doing this you're going to Dubai you're going to wherever where has that drive always been in you to do more and more and more or did you pick it up at some stage where does that really come from well, I think it's it's quite funny you mentioned that we're on similar kind of journeys because I'd have to agree. I look at you and I can see everything you do is something I did and we probably have a similar kind of mindset. And it's not a very easy position to be in, is it? Because you've got all pressures from everywhere. You've got, you're wondering what people think, your family, um, you're working at the same time. You're thinking what the people yeah. you're working with are thinking. And it is a huge pressure on you, but it's it's not. That pressure doesn't go though, does it? It's something yeah. you can't. People say, yeah. "Oh, just don't do it." Then don't yeah, do the music. Yeah, don't do exactly. anything. But it's just a dry, it's just a fire inside you that you yeah, can't put out in it. Yeah. It's a. I am. Um, I had all this pressure from a, from the young age, and I just I just did it anyway. Yeah. And it isn't easy. But where did it come from? I'm not quite sure, um, even maybe uh, even a self-centered place, I don't know. Um, when I was younger, I always wanted to do big things, whether it be an actor or... I just saw a big vision for my life, but it really started when um, I was dancing as well, when I was really, really? <laughs> But it all started with the music, really, and um, in secondary school, I was in like a, a Christian secondary school. Um, and I don't really come from the kind of rapper background, but I was a huge fan of rap and I just started it. And when I started off, it was like maybe five out of, ten, five out of 10. I was really inspired at the time, like uh, Mac Miller was just coming out with his, you know, he had that, that white boy with the cap to the back kind of attitude yeah. and that at the time really related to me. And I kind of started from there and started making like kind of swag rap. Um, which progressed. I was into like Joey Badass and Pro Era, and that's like really New York street. So that was a huge influence of mine. And I come from like quite a a middle class white background, I guess. Um, I have fantastic family, and I was still inspired to do to do rap music. Yeah. And that huge enormous pressure on myself because yeah, we we go into church and stuff. Um, I'm doing jobs on the side, you know, like hospitality and stuff, like catering events. And like people are looking, oh, this is your Instagram, do you make music? And um, yeah. 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 I thought, honestly, I totally relate to that. People, you know, you're working, people, you're doing, you people think you what's going on. I mean, it, I mean, obviously, going back to the job thing, you don't have seen on your Instagram, you've done quite a lot of things. How, would Dubai, how was Dubai? How was it? I mean, you see the glamorous side of it, you see all, you know, what. Andrew Tate's doing out there or whatever yeah. everyone's doing out there What? how was it like to actually live there work there for someone you know that more of a day to day kind of normal life in Dubai in comparison uh, to just strange. Instagram strange. models and whatever I'd say my overall perception on Dubai is a good one um, some people either really dislike it or really like it I'm somewhere in the middle there are criticisms people have of Dubai that is valid but the way I saw it when I got there but first thing, the good thing about Dubai is the place has so much opportunity and so much money. I guess it's like being in New York in that time or being in London in London's time. It's it's a growing empire and there's a lot of money there. Um, there's a lot of opportunity there. People are making millions just like that. In my company, top performance sales agents, they're making like hundreds of thousands a month. 
it's, 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 it's could, crazy yeah, to say you're working for someone and you, mm. that's the commission available it's, mm. but it shows doesn't it that, that how much money's in an actual city yeah, you couldn't you couldn't do that in England. You yeah. just couldn't. It's just. Yeah, I mean, it was very similar to how London was because I don't know. There was rumours. This is not from my mouth, but that there's a lot of you know, Dubai is seen as a an easy place to put illegal money in. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to go too far into that. I I do enjoy it, and when I was there, and that you know, when you have that opportunity. Um, to put money into a city so easily like to buy an apartment that's really relieving for people with governments that you know yeah um, you you feel uncomfortable that, you, that your government's not even going to seize your money etc yeah. yeah so it is a very easy and accessible place for people to go to there's a lot of fancy stuff as you know you see it and it is real and um, when I was there the first thing I was told, because there's so many sales agents that come in and out, there's like, I don't know, I heard 10,000 online. There's more There's more agents than there is. Yeah, yeah. Than is yeah. needed, do you get me? And that's because it's all commission-based, which yeah. is a fantastic opportunity because the person making millions a year is also commission-based. Yeah. But um, because of this, there's so many agents and, you know, people are in and out. And so um, I got told by too many people which is advice I was never going to take is like don't feed into the Dubai lifestyle because it's easy to go and spend yeah, thousands yeah, yeah. out there when, you when, know? It's, when it's in front of you yeah the, you know the infinity pools the the nights out just the ball yeah. parties yeah. and a better drinks 15 quid or something isn't it? Is it yeah it's, it's around that yeah I mean I had a couple of beers when I was there I think it was it was over a 10 Ten pound, and that yeah, was just in an Irish bar. It's just mad, in it is. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> yeah, there's there's a lot of opportunities in Dubai agents. I'd say the the average age is quite young, so it, it there's a lot of temptation there. Yeah, yeah. I guess I was out there with my girlfriend, which takes you know that temptation away a lot more, and the fact that she's not really into partying takes the temptation away a bit more. Yeah. But um, I didn't. I didn't party like Dubai for me was. I look back at it like it was a, a lot of stressful work, a lot of sitting in traffic, a lot of like in the office picking up the phone. And um, yeah, it was it was a tough period of my life. Dubai is beautiful, like it has its nice places, but there's also a lot of stuff that people didn't see. Yeah, and I don't want to make out like it's it's like slums, but if you see on my channel, I just. I didn't sugarcoat anything, I just showed my life, you saw some really nice bits, but you also saw it from a perspective of someone not trying to make it look super yeah. fancy. Yeah, well that's what I noticed to be fair on your videos, you were literally saying this happens, this happens, this happens, it wasn't like, you know, some, like you say, people sugarcoat things, people make it look brilliant, but yeah. even if you look at the, you know, kind of, I know it's like one particular travel stuff, but if you look yeah. at Kurt Kaz or yeah. Bal the Bank, you know, they, they're, just, they're just showing you everything, you know what I mean? It's oh. just, Legitimate, and to be fair, so obviously you talked about money and being, you know, assets and stuff. I saw you put on your Dubai Instagram, which you came in as one. Yeah. But, um, you said, you know, do your assets feel safe in the UK? Do you feel? Yeah, is you, do, you, do you trust the government? Do you trust? And I feel like there's a lot more trust out there. To, there you know, did, yeah. was there more of that? Did they all kind of have trust within their own government? Yeah, there's a lot of instability in the world and <laughs> and something. It's I wouldn't even say Dubai is stable. It's just going upwards. Yeah, and I would say yeah. it, it's still going like that. And you'd see agents who didn't make it out there. I didn't make it out there. Who'd probably make out that it's it's not a good opportunity. It's a fantastic opportunity. Yeah. It really is. Like there's so much money being thrown in that place. I can't say it's gonna last forever, but. When you look at somewhere like London or Hong Kong, which has been has had a similar kind of mm, emphasis on a city yeah. before in the past, it did go further than where Dubai is now. Yeah, in, yeah. in terms of prices and to be, to be fair, I think people kind of um, not miss sell Dubai, but kind of think it's always going to be at that level. Yeah. At some point, because someone said to be fair, you know, it's so. Um, it's brilliant now the police is on it you know what I mean it's not no one's getting hurt no one you know what I mean there's no crime like there is in London or Manchester or Liverpool or anything like that but at some point 
the degeneracy from the West is is going to catch up at some point as everyone goes. It's, I mean, uh, people just need to take a Google search to see like it's it's not like a very strong Islamic place. Is it not? There's there's mosques everywhere. There's loads of people in there that follow Islam to the extreme, but. You can go anywhere and have have a drink. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, yeah, you yeah. can. You can. I was there during Ramadan, and people were outside eating food. Um, yeah, well, other laws. I mean, you know, when they talk about you can't hold hands with your girlfriend, or you can't. Are the law, are they actually enforced, or is it like the UK laws that say you can't ride your bike down the pavement as a kid? I, I mean, is, yeah, it, is it like that? Me and my girlfriend experienced no issues holding hands. But say if I was in a store, yeah, loads of Arabic people in um, Arabic way and they probably just got come from the mosque I'd be a bit more like <laughs> my girl would try and ha- grab my hand I'd be like just yeah, yeah we, res- we respect I do really respect the religion and that's why yeah. I didn't walk around drinking and eating during Ramadan but I don't think everyone there respects it and it's it's up to them what they want to tolerate yeah um, I mean it's not I mean I'm completely believe it's their culture it's their laws their religion yeah. if you're not going to go over you know that's I you know, it's, it, but it seems brilliant to be fair. I'll I'll be there at some point. I just don't have money in a minute. Oh, it's it's, it's a very expensive place, man. And um, I said what I said about the opportunity. Yeah. I don't really. I didn't really enjoy the place. Really. Yeah. It, yeah. It's. I can't say I'd want to live there. Like everyone wants to. Yeah. I couldn't say it. How's the Cayman Islands one going then? Well, it's funny you asked that because you asked me that when I uh, came in, but I'm going to explain to my YouTube channel that that job also didn't work out for yeah. me, which is tough, but it's tough because I have... Well, I, I thought you were going out there, to be fair. Yeah. Because um, I think I messaged you on Instagram and said when you're going out, I thought you actually left because I thought, fuck it, you want to came in us now, just like, <laughs> just come from Dubai, then you're going to... Look, I, I don't want to go into too much details about what that job is but they're a very legitimate company yeah. who've been there for 15 years I used to have plots of buildable land people can build on I thought I was going to ace, ace it um, I still think I would have and I've, I think it was you know well my I love proving people wrong I bet you do yeah. so like I still have a good relationship with them um, because I have a big YouTube channel I'd still like to partnership with them in the future but for now, they just didn't feel like it was the right fit for myself, and uh, I understand it, you know. Yeah. It, it is what it is. What's the plan with YouTube moving forward, then? Yes. Well, that that takes me... Um, I've been thinking about that over the next couple of days, and the thing that works for me on YouTube is Domino's and Amazon. Yeah. Now, I don't know if recently... I, I bet you have saw that I've been making more, like, personal stuff, yeah, yeah. giving messages for our videos. Yeah. Um, and I'd love doing that and I don't something about making just entertaining videos made me think to myself like I don't want to just be an entertainer yeah because um, yeah it's because I would like that whilst whilst it's going on and I'm getting all these views but then I'd listen to something that like made because I watch personal yeah. stuff online and that makes me feel like I want to give a message. So now I'm everything because I'm gonna pick. I'm. I fought against this when I had the Cayman Islands job. Yeah. But I'm now. I'm gonna pick up the Dominoes and Amazon videos again. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they do work, and I, I genuinely quite enjoy them. To be fair, yeah. They go up on your head and you're driving about for Dominoes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Gen- um, that kind of you've got to go with what you what mm. works, haven't you? You know, yeah. it's not. It's not. Um, if someone if the billionaire that makes them chairs you don't you don't you don't bother about them chairs but if it makes him money it makes him money you know what I mean and and, and they bring the views in and you know I, I completely relate to that no, I like I like making them them videos bro Domino's Amazon videos and I just watched them again and it made me really like yesterday I just, it just made me really optimistic about what I, where I could take it but um. Well, I saw you got some stick on one of your Domino's videos when you said you were going out to Dubai and someone had put, you could have had a good channel off this, da, da, but you know you got, and I thought, come on, man. I could have had a good channel. Why are you commenting on that? I mean, yeah. he's going to Dubai trying to be a, and yeah. you're going to comment about. I do like, it's not me thinking now, oh no, I have to make them videos again. It was like a choice. I want to continue to make personal videos as well, whether that be in the middle of the others or on a second channel, then fair enough. 
at least I'm not just an entertainer when I'm making Amazon videos and I'm making Domino's videos. Yeah. I can grow my channel really big. And at the same time, for people who do like the personal stuff, because there are people who really like that stuff and really, like, I've received emails from people who were inspired by something I said in a video. For people who do like that, there will be a channel there in the background and it will be bubbling. And eventually that will do well within the market that... Because there is a market for that on YouTube. I've not really reached it compared to what my Amazon videos have reached. But there is a market for that and I will um, tap into that market because I, I'd i like to you know, have a positive impact on people. Yeah, and it'll grow with the other. It'll, the dominoes will grow with the music and the music yeah, will grow exactly, with the, the yeah. personal videos. And yeah, it all works out. One, I, yeah, sorry. I saw you went to Ukraine. Yep. Your girlfriend. How was that? I was. How, how's it feeling out there? Now, I was in Poland a couple of months ago, but yeah. so I saw a lot of um, Ukrainian refugees and yeah. stuff. But how's it actually feel when you get to Ukraine? Where are you? Where were you in Poland? I was in Krakow. Oh, that, that city. Because I saw you went to Krakow yeah, as well. Because yeah, yeah. you commented on my. Um, are you Eastern European yourself? No, people ask me that. <laughs> I'm actually not. Yeah, yeah. People, when I was in Portugal, people thought I was Romanian or Bulgarian. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I might look a bit. Bosnian or something. Yeah, yeah, no, people think that. I might. I think I just look a bit. Yeah, no, nah, it's cool. Um, what was the question, actually? How was Ukraine? How does it feel out there? So we got there and we got into Lviv, which is the border town with Poland. And it was, it felt quite normal quite happy people getting on with their day-to-day -day lives people down drinking at the bar and um, there was a lot of military around um, it kind of felt like how England felt during um, what was happening a couple of years ago when we couldn't leave our houses and yeah. we, we eventually got to leave our houses it felt like in Lviv, which is the border town of Poland, everyone knew what was happening and then just kind of, kind of like pu Going pushing about. it to one yeah. side, yeah. And um, I think that's what I default into as well. So is what it is. Like, and yeah. we went to we went to see her family. She's from Kharkiv. Her family are in Vinita, and Vinita is coming towards Kiev, and. Um, is a bit more impacted by the war but people were still getting on with the day-to-day -day lives you just saw buildings and stuff and i spent like a couple of weeks in a little village in Vinitsa in the oblast which is just like you know an area yeah. of ukraine it's like i'm guessing like seven to ten oblasts um because it's such a big place i guess like a mini state and um yeah, in Vinita we spent a, we were in like a traditional village. It was Easter at the time and Ukraine Easter is it's like um the Orthodox Christian and Yeah. It's very interesting. They took we took like baskets, all the women wear like head head scarves. Yeah. There was like a priest that came over on Easter and sprinkled us with water. It was a, a funny experience for me. Being like one foreign guy in that village it was yeah, I'll always remember it, and there was a war going on, and yeah, you 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 could feel it, yeah. Yeah, well, it was Easter during when I was in um, I don't know if it was in Prague or Krakow. Obviously, yeah. they're two very Christian countries. Yeah. So there's tons of Easter stuff going on. Um, but how did you meet your girlfriend? So, um, her apartment complex, not her house, not her apartment itself, but it was affected during a war. And um, her and her mother went to Prague originally, and then they they came to Liverpool, and that's where I met her in Liverpool, yeah. or, or just outside of Liverpool, yeah. And you know, we have such a fantastic relationship now. She was very, um, hmm, what's the right word? Cautious when we met. Yeah. She didn't give too much away. I think that's a good thing not to Oh, fair, very, right? very well. So we just discussed different, like, important topics on the first, on the first date. <laughs> it felt like more of an interview, but um, there were hints of the connection that we have now, which is an amazing connection. But we got that out the way. And then on the second date, like, she really opened up. And yeah, it's, it's a really uh, man and her relationship. It's a really traditional relationship. 
you know, she's the sweet lady and I'm the man who yeah, opens yeah. the door for her and stuff. Yeah, and um, she she gives me a lot of respect, man. Like, I, d- I don't want to have this podcast be like, uh, uh, Western women are this, Western women are that, but like... It's true. <laughs> she, <laughs> I know what you mean. She, <laughs> no, not all, but like, she really opened up to me and let me lead in a way that like, um, a lot of a lot of women nowadays struggle to. How about you, bro, are you dating much? Uh, no, uh, it's, see, no, I don't. Uh, certain people don't want to see this podcast now. But, <laughs> but uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I understand. I'm when just, I was, um, yeah. I'm just. I'm about. I'm busy. I'm busy. I work. I work seven days a week, pretty much. So that's cool, man. I'm, just, I, I'm doing the same both, and we all we both doing the same thing on the side as well. Well, I can say when I was eighteen, I had no no luck with women. Yeah. Bro. Well, I work at a pub, not yeah. so you know it's, it's. I bet it's, you do. Yeah, I bet you do. But when I was eighteen, I was like uh, a bit more, bit 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 more chubby than I am now, and low confidence. And yeah, but I mean, doing what you do, doing it, it just grows and grows and grows. Your confidence yeah, exactly. grows with your channel and your thing. Exactly. What made you go to Mexico? Because that was the first travel vlog kind of yeah conquest you yeah. set out on, on it, it was... yeah that's funny so I was uh, I was a fan like you of Kirk Cars Bold and Bankrupt and Harold Boulder they were the main three and me and my best friend were like let's go to Thailand and become YouTubers but obviously something happened during this time um, that didn't allow us to travel to Thailand to make the content we wanted so he said let well, open was open and we like got a list of 10 names we watched videos on the 10 places i think i think we made the right choice in mexico but we were also considering barbados yeah um and then mexico went on the english red list I don't yeah. know if you remember and we booked our flights then and it got cancelled and then um we we said you know what like we have enough money for a few months by the time we leave, if we leave worst case scenario, um, we won't be on the red list anymore. So, red, so it went on red list when you got to yeah. Mexico? It went, yeah. So Before, before yeah. like a week before. So we went through Madrid, because you can still do that. Oh, really? Yeah, it felt pretty rebellious, I guess. But um, yeah, I guess we yeah. are. And then you went to Colombia, didn't you? I saw a video you yeah. got robbed or someone, some Almost. taxi driver tried to scam you. Yeah, so, some... Well, that was a funny story actually. So in the same day, I was going from Medellin to um, Guatapé. Guatapé is like a huge rock. It's like nature. There's lakes and stuff. And um, so I was get, going a taxi from there to there, and the traffic on the way was so bad because there was a incident, a fatal incident. Um, so I just this guy was trying to like demand more money and that. So I was like, turn around, I'll go, I'll go on Monday. So um, we start heading back to Medellin. We're in like a traffic jam, and I see two two guys hop off a bike. We're in a traffic jam, mind you. Hop off a bike. So I'm facing this way. They're like a few cars back this way. Well, they hopped off the bike when I just passed them. But, but we're moving forward and one of them grabs a rock on the side of the road like this big starts walking up cars to to find someone to rob oh there's a phone there smash yeah. rob because it's a traffic jam what yeah. can you do yeah. and me being like because if they see me because yeah. uh, I'm white and I'm, I'm English or American they'd think they'd rush to me yeah. is it like oh iPhone yeah. let's get him and um, so one I can't remember which one had the rock, but one was walking towards me and like looking in each car slowly. And the other went the other way. And just the time he got to, he was getting closer to my car, the traffic started picking up. And I was going to the taxi driver, go, 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 go. And then um, the taxi driver was being nosy and looking back. I was like, go, go. <laughs> and we just 
like I think I was the next guy that they were gonna look at. Yeah. And I don't think that would have ended well for me. Um, but I would have just gave everything. My friend got robbed in Bogota re- um, more recently. Yeah. But that's his story. You know, I don't want to go into that. But that same taxi driver was frustrating, man. Yeah. He was chat. He's playing all these games with me. I don't like them games. You know, trying to add on money. Oh, you're paying for this tunnel. Oh, okay. yeah. I gave him the money for the tunnel. He kept the chain. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm. Um, but they do that all day, every day, don't yeah. they? It's, it's, but the thing is, when you're in Colombia, you can't really go out and or you can't really just hop out the car all yeah. the time. We, yeah. yeah, I know. It's, uh, so, so when I got in the taxi, because I wore my chains and they were only fake chains like this around my neck yeah. in the hotel. But when I like when I left I got in a taxi I was still wearing it I went oh so I have this backpack and at the bottom of the backpack there's a zip pocket so I zipped the pocket put it in I remember this I zipped it back up and put it there and whilst I was doing this I just saw him like this this yeah. taxi driver so on the way back from Guatape which we didn't end up going to um, we were in a restaurant I was getting some food he wanted me to pay for his food as well. That's another story. But when I went to the toilet, I came back and he was gone. And he'd just gone to the car. And with how untrustworthy this guy is, like something in me told myself, hey, that guy went to the car for your chain, you know. Yeah. So, um, well, we were in a restaurant at the time or the little side food place. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly Colombians on the side. It was very like... Um, traditional as well like taken back in time it's so cool to be in Colombia as well to be honest and um, we were, when, when we got in the car and we were driving back it was like maybe 10 minutes before I said to myself oh the chain so I zipped up this pocket and it wasn't there yeah uh, I was because this guy's driving I was like being a, as aggressive as I could without like getting old yeah yeah too. I was like my chain Policia, mm. ahora, mi chain, policia, policia. And uh, he was like, no chain, no chain, no chain. So after about five minutes of me, I had the camera out on him and everything. <laughs> after about five minutes, he's like, I can't, chain, chain way. He lifts up his floor mat and the chain's under there. There's your chain, you dropped it. I was like, you little, <laughs> you scum. It's cool. Yeah. So when I went to the toilet, he obviously yeah. got it out. He put it under there quite cleverly, so that if we if we found oh it fell. But yeah, it's not. It's yeah. Um, what's planned for the future now? I know I kind of said what's your YouTube, but no, it's where okay. are you going from now? Future's hugely different question, bro. Of course, like the next step, um, gaining some subscribers back and getting some money up because. Dubai was an inexpensive experience for myself and um, I gotta get back on my feet now. Uh, like seriously, like it, it took a lot, you know. Um, but plan is get back on my feet now. Grow my YouTube channel. Well, when YouTube's good, it's really good. Like my Domino, even my Domino's videos before I left, they were making like a hundred quid each. Yeah. So if I'm just consistent with that and Amazon, grow my channel and my subscribers went up about 3,000 during the dominoes yeah like yeah. the five dominoes videos I made so if I just keep on knuckling down with that that's great grow a channel from there you have leverage you can make money you can here's my affiliate link oh you want to sponsor me yeah yeah the, here's my price and that's what the beautiful thing about growing a channel is I know you're on how many are you on? I'm on 4,300 at the minute yeah. so yeah. I'm I'm you know, what? you know what? I went out. I did the I did the videos, and I, I, it didn't work in in Europe. It didn't work in cities and stuff. I went yeah, to Madrid. I, I went to Barcelona. Thing. I went yeah. to uh, cities. Don't work. Don't work. I feel like you've got to be in yeah. Colombia, yeah. in the ghetto, or yeah. Ukraine, or you know, just somewhere yeah. that people don't see. Because I feel like you can you can look at Google Images at, at, at cities. Yeah. You can look at Berlin. You can look at yeah. and people have been already. No, that's it's not like exploring almost because you know what you're going to see but to be, but fair, to be fair I mean even at, at your stage you channel you're on 16,000 at the minute um, yeah around yeah. I feel like if you went now we've started doing the you know Colombia Guatemala you know all these like I feel like it could work there 
yeah. you know because at this point you've got a big build up of mm. it's almost like trying to just water, water at the dam and eventually it'll just go you know what I mean yeah that's where it's been to get to the point I'm at now yeah sure um. but yeah no it's um, well it's been a pleasure to have you on Oh yeah, um, that's, it's that's good. The first podcast I've done, so if you, you know, I'm gonna, I'd love to get you back on again. Yeah, maybe a couple of months when you, um, but I don't know. I live day by day at the minute, so <laughs> I'm just working constantly um, across a couple of different pubs, a couple of yeah. different things going on. I've not, to be fair, I've not really been um, talking on my channel about what I've actually been doing. I've been yeah. doing videos on the side, but. Um, you've I'm been doing a lot as well man and you're I a big know. Man City fan I know yeah I so say, that's been, yeah. this year's been busy yeah. <laughs> I want to say I definitely want to keep in touch because like I said to start the podcast we are in so similar boats yeah. there's a lot of pressure I know and I was going to say to be fair the only opposite is City and Liverpool isn't it because yeah, yeah. it's um that's the, to be fair that's the one thing I'm beating you on you've yeah. got more stuff more videos more countries <laughs> More songs, but I might, I don't know how many songs I've done actually. You probably don't. I think I've done 30 odd songs yeah. to be fair, but yeah. yeah, that's my, that's my. Um, I want to get into music again, so we'll do something with we'll that do it. as well. Yeah, we need to do, we need to do yeah. a song together. I've got, um, I've got some coming out. I'm going to Croatia in two weeks, so oh, I've got, nice. I've got some, I've got a music video coming out from that. Yeah. Um, Split. You are. You are. Split. Uh, no, um, it's. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to be. It's somewhere near, somewhere near um, Dubrovnik. Okay. And so I can get, the so you can get yeah, I'm gonna get a water taxi to Dubrovnik and then a water taxi to um, Montenegro. Oh, so I can do amazing. some videos in there. To to um, it looks good. I, you know, I've not, I've not, I've not been, um, I've been to Greece obviously, but I've never been to Bosnia or Croatia or whatever. Even though you thought I was from there or something, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, we need to honestly, we need to do a song together or something. We need to do even if you know you got back into traveling or I did or whatever. Yeah, we, no, we, we will definitely. We'll get there. Because, you Big know, things for the both of us. Yeah. And, uh, you're young now, man. And how old are you? Smashing. Twenty five. Twenty five. You're still yeah. young, yeah, but thought, to, yeah. to me, to you, you might think, oh, he's an old man. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I yeah. admire you as content creator, and I value you as friend, mate. Thanks a lot. Definitely. Appreciate that. Cheers for coming on. Thanks a lot. Is that Jones, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah.